it is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below okay so in the near future you do have communication coming in is what i'm getting here this could be a new person here this could be an apology here we're going to clarify the root of the issue out here is the two of wands what's that Someone needs to make a decision of whether they want to stick around at the connection or walk away here, okay? So someone's at a crossroads out here. This could be someone here who's trying to watch you from a distance. So this could be you is what I'm getting here who needs to make a decision about whether you still want to stick around in this connection or whether you want to walk away and detach yourself emotionally. Six of Swords. Okay. So in the past year, I think you walked away from a situation which was... Um, a very on and off connection here, okay? And um, there was a lack of... Uh, emotions probably in the past year maybe it was just a very sexual relationship with a lot of passion out here but i think you walked away from a situation which is very on and off it started quickly ended quickly here and that's something that you didn't want you could have had a lot of on and off uh with this person out here you know and um it just starts off very quickly okay and just starts off out of nowhere is what i'm getting here and passion is not what you were looking for because you look like quite invested into this situation almost like with a very heavy heart you thought of moving away from this person here or it just, you know, you just put in that physical or mental distance between you and this person. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see right now here, I think there is a situation here where you are not putting in the work, okay, on an individual level out here. Okay, uh, there is someone here with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse who probably now is wanting a commitment, thinking of commitment out here. So, um... You know what I feel? I feel you're right now, you're probably being distant emotionally. You know, you're probably losing interest in someone here who probably is having a very big problem trying to commit to you. So this person wants you. Okay, they don't want to be single anymore. They want you, right? But the thing is that this person has a very hard time. Uh, you know, they're very scared of losing their independence out here. You've probably put in a lot of work on an individual level right now. Okay, but uh, you're trying to stick to your comfort zone right now. Okay, where you feel safe. Because you have fear of falling in love. Now, again, with the current situation here, this could also be a person who is not putting in the effort that is required to put into the situation. They Again, they still have that fear of uh, losing their independence. They love you. They want you, but they still fear losing their independence here. And uh, probably, I feel this person is still sticking to their comfort zone, okay? They still have the fear of completely letting go, is what I'm getting here. Nine of Swords here. Uh, this is someone here you're dealing with who wants commitment with you, who wants stability, security with you, but they are always thinking of the worst. Okay. Dealing with someone who has a very, very negative mindset. Okay. Like what's going to happen? I know it's going to go wrong, you know? So they constantly keep thinking about how things can go wrong in this connection rather than how good things could be. Okay. So what happens here is the situation is not as bad as they think it is. They're making it more worse by staying in their head. Okay, they need to get out of their head. Yeah, you could be strongly dealing with an air sign out here. Okay. Um, yeah, with the king of pentacles here. Yeah, like I said, the influence, this is what it is. This person wants this commitment with you. Okay, they're ready to commit. But the thing is that it's the fear that holds them back. Okay, queen of swords here. Yeah, this is on your mind. You're very, very, very clear. Very, very clear about what you want with this person out here. So it's like this. You probably could be dealing with a player on this one. Okay. Now, you are coming off as someone here who's like, you know what, I ain't got no time for this bullshit, all right? You're focusing uh, on letting go of, you know, anything that is holding you back from your growth and forward momentum here. You're no longer willing to tolerate any repeated negative patterns, broken promises, lies, disrespectful behavior, okay? Because you're coming off as someone who refuses to put in any time and effort, you know? to anyone who does not reach your standards and this is what you're this is the kind of person that you're dealing with with the knight of wands is someone who's very flighty very in and out you know they're very passionate about you you know so when they come and they come in with that you know with that uh a wigger which like yeah do let's just make this happen you know i'm getting someone here who loves traveling okay this is the kind of person you're dealing with who likes to travel traveling is probably their thing okay they'd want to get away with you you know and they're zoned in on you i wouldn't say that i wouldn't say that they love someone else they're just zoned in you but they are so scared and afraid of being tied down okay it's not even funny but you on the other hand are, you know what like i don't think that's funny yeah you're like i don't think that's funny You've had enough time, okay, to get, you know, done with your bullshit. Either you come, commit to me, and we do what you want, we travel, we get out, or then I'm done. 
Okay. You, you're just trying to put yourself, your needs before this person this time around. Okay. That's what's happening here. What's the page of cups? All right. So there's communication coming in, but clearly it looks like you're not going to take, you're going to take a backseat. Okay. You're just going to get your popcorn and you're just going to watch the show. You're going to watch the charade that this person is putting up with. All right. Because this person here is coming towards you with very, with a lot of emotional immaturity okay the page of cups is someone you're very emotionally immature right that's very kiddish very shy person out here they'll come in this they'll, they'll apologize okay but you are pissed off you're going to be dominating the situation in the near future when this person comes back you know why because they, they they've made you feel very insecure very insecure in this connection you don't feel the confidence okay so it's like you're just going to be very very passive and you're just going to let them do the talking okay and just see if they genuinely mean something or are they just back to waste your time okay five of wands here what's that hmm. you probably feel there's too much drama consisting Okay, there's too much drama here with this person out here. Okay, I feel that here there could also be a chance where you're still not taking control of the situation here because you're not thinking logically. Okay, you're still letting your emotions overpower your logic is what I'm getting here. But the emperor in reverse here, you're being a control freak. I think you want control of the situation right now. Okay, you probably feel that even if this person comes in and this time if you're vulnerable again, probably this person is just, you know, going to hurt you again, which is what is happening here is that it order for you to take control of the situation here you're just becoming like a tyrant okay and you're not being able to focus you're losing direction is what i'm getting here and with the five of wands here you're constantly having a tug of war in your head what do i fucking do see that's why with the two of wands i told you right you're still not sure what you want to do Should, do i want this do i not do i walk away do i still invest do i wait for them do i give them a second chance or nothing at all judgment in your environment what's this this person out here Wants a final chance out here, okay? I think they want to make another choice. What's the judgment here? Wow. Yeah. See, they're manifesting you, okay? This person is manifesting you here, okay? And they want a second chance. They want a reconciliation here. They are ready to drop the load, is what I'm getting here. I feel this person out here is uh, someone, you know, who's manifesting you, okay? They're secretly manifesting you. And uh, they're hell-bent on having you. Although they know that there's a breakup here, you guys are still not talking or there's a disconnection between you both here. Um, this relationship, right? Um, it seems like a burden to them, okay? It seems more like a burden and stress to them rather than um, something that is that they would want to look out for right now. So I feel that this person definitely wants you. They want to be with you, right? They're wanting to think about commitment here. But they could be overloaded with a lot of other responsibilities, okay? And they don't want you to be another pylon. That's why they want to come towards you with a very knight of wand kind of page of cupish energy, okay? And that's making you think twice about what do I want to do? Do I still want to wait and watch? Should I just turn my back and just leave, Okay. But yeah, in the, in, this is in your environment here. This person here, yes, they do feel very burdened, stressed out here, okay? But it's like they're keeping things to themselves here. There's this connection out here. There could be trust issues. They're manifesting you. What's the four of swords? And your emotions out here, you are just not making any move right now. Even if you're talking to them or even if they talk to you, right? Your guards are still going to be up. You have trust issues out here. I think it's your need for perfection, okay? It's your need for wanting to th get something your way is just putting you in a place where you're just like whoa i'm just like fed up okay you're very close to saying screw it with this person out here okay but i think you're still not giving up i don't see you giving up but um you're standing your ground okay you're standing your ground here you have your suspicions about them you don't trust them but you're choosing to stay quiet but while you'll be quiet you're still not just completely like you're not throwing in the towel page of wands and reverse is the outcome what's that Someone out here is not talking to you because this person out here is still not being able to come towards you with that straightforward mental clarity kind of energy. One more card. <laughs> see, see this person, right? They love you, guys. They love you. Okay, you know what, babe? They love you. They want commitment with you. This person wants to marry you. Okay. They, they have, you're the one that they want. There's no one else here. Only thing I'm getting is that this person is still not ready. There will be, this realization is there. So they know you're the one. But this person tries to manipulate, you know, which is why the communication is starts, stops, starts, stops out here. But as the outcome out here, there is a reunion here. This is you both coming back together. 
you're both coming back together this may come up as someone you you know who's very uh, immature okay or someone who's very cold harsh detached so they may not talk to you like all the time or they may just like probably talk to you the realization is there they love you but when it comes to their communication style right it's going to be very on and off okay keep that in mind here it's going to be very on and off you know why because they're scared the queen of swords here you intimidate this person out here and they're constantly stressing about this commitment out here so like they want it it's like i want it but i'm scared of it you know i want it but i'm so afraid of it get what i'm saying so yeah that's like um you know this is for this person where it's like feel the fear and do it right feel the fear and still do it they're feeling the fear and still not doing it so just give them some time here but there is a reunion here i mean there is this kind of coming back together out here but the communication is going to be pretty shitty okay it is because this is someone here who's very manipulative who lies you know who's very very bad at communication on and off communication you know they make you wait for days and days for them to reply back etc but the love is there okay so that's what i have for you okay